This is Clay. This is Jimbo. We are the Whiskey Drinkers. That's right. And what are we here for? Well, it's funny you should ask. We got us another review for you. That's right. All right, now, I happen to be walking through the liquor store. I'm looking around and all the beautiful stuff on the walls. I'm thinking to myself, what do I want to drink? Well, it's pretty obvious. It's funny you should ask. I wanted to drink something local. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I know so, how that, I know that feeling. With the local section. It's nice. You walk in, you go right to the left, there's a local section. You guys, you guys might have a local section at your liquor store, too. It's nice. It really is. So what'd you pick up? Everybody's so, excited. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty. Oh, that looks like it's good. Okay. And I was like, hmm. You can use it right tell. That yeah. right there, that's what I want. And that's what I got, this. Slow-mo. <laughs> Here's what we got. That looks it is cool. Four grain bourbon whiskey. Dang. Four grain bourbon whiskey. I don't know what it was about this, but it just called to me. Sounds good. Batch number 30, bottle number 514. And that's handwritten on it, it's not printed. This is What's this say up here? Oh, this is a uh, Trade Bluebird Distilling Mark. Okay, that's the people who made it. Oh, uh, I think it's trademark blueberry just bluebird distilling oh okay yeah, yeah. that makes more sense no still yeah this is uh 46 percent alcohol by volume that's 92 proof distilled from grain not too bad distilled and bottled by bluebird distilling phoenixville pennsylvania dang all right let's I don't see know where that is back. i don't either I have no idea um bluebird is an adventure savor the moment i heard that all right let's read it back um, we pushed the norms with this bourbon by distilling with four grains, corn, heirloom rye, red winter wheat, and barley. By using both rye and wheat, we were able to create a seamless tradition between subtle sweetness and rich spice. This bourbon starts with vanilla and oak up front, followed by bacon spices on the palate, finishing with a light smoked caramelized toffee and butterscotch. Mm, I like wow. butterscotch. Bluebird is a true grain... Wait... Bluebird is a true grain to glass distillery. All of our spirits are. What? Oh, it's a grain to glass. Oh, okay. Oh. All of our spirits are distilled on the site, on site using our state of the art hybrid copper steel. Who? Uh, copper steel. Maybe. Bluebird is made up of fun. Passionate people dedicated <laughs> to creating world class spirits and enjoying life. Learn more about us on our blue and our Bluebird philosophy at Bluebird. Distilling.com. They got a whole philosophy and everything. Jeez. Wow. Aged in charred oak barrels less than four years. Ooh. It must be a reason you take it out in four years. I don't know. Wow. So this is stuff seems pretty decent. Yeah, it's got, uh, some plastic on there. Especially you look you look at the side with all the stuff from around here, from around your area. Sometimes there's crappy stuff, stuff maybe the bottle's still open and stuff they didn't put together very well. Yeah. This is put together pretty well. Ready to pop test? Wood. Sounds good. Sounds legit. Look at that wooden top, wooden toggle thing. They actually uh, what, what, put some put Ooh, some uh, finishing on there. I can smell there. that already. Put some, not even getting close to it. Smell. Oh, I can smell it there. Put when some nice finishing nose, on there. No wonder there. you could smell it there. Well, yeah. All right, pour test here. I like the bottle. The bottle's a cool shape. Right. Got a little rim right here. You put that right on your glass. Not many paper towels. But I know Monosaur Gates is gonna love this one because like he. That. He uh he likes when we drink. All right, um, the uh, whiskey drinks have the color sheets here. Get a good look at the color. It's got a nice little color to it. Looks like a bourbon. Looks like a whiskey. Oh yeah. Nice. Color. Oh, nice film. I don't see any floaties. It does have a nice film. Wow. These are uh, patented by the whiskey drinkers. Can't get them no more. They were on sale. Um. Yeah, it's got a nice film. <coughs> that's, well, not bad. that's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. You can smell the oak barrel shit. Oak wow. Barrel. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. That's yeah, gonna... if you get it real close to your nose, it replaces oxygen. Yes, it you does. You can't breathe no more. Yes, it does. Smelling this might get you a little drunk. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be a good bourbon right here, to be honest. As, as a bourbon, yeah. It almost smells like a head. You can almost smell the spice, like a like a spiced rum. Yeah, oh yeah. It said it there's bacon smell. spices and all kinds of spices. I just realized I don't have a chaser, so this, we're going to really get into this one. You ready? All right. Switch around. Down the hatch. Hmm. <sighs> Whew. Whew. It's 
got that bourbon taste to it. But uh, there's a lot of things going on there. <clears throat> I don't know. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's still tastes, different tastes happening. Mm. What does that taste like? It almost tastes like a, uh, a pipe tobacco. <clears throat> I feel it burning as it goes down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That stuff is 92 proof. Probably don't have to brush potent. my teeth. That is very potent. Yep. My gums are all tingly. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Whew. It's almost like doing a gummy. Uh, uh, Blackbird is an adventure. <clears throat> Black Savor bird. the moment. Blackbird. Blackbird. <clears throat> well, that's pretty good right there, I'm going to have to say. <clears throat> in my opinion. I'm still tasting it. It's a good... It's a, honestly, honestly, it's a very good bourbon taste. It's just like onions where you got to... It's layers of it. Where you I thought it. you meant you could taste onions. Oh, no. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's not too bad. I like the bottle. I like the taste. I'm sure if it was on ice, if it was on the rocks, yeah, I'm sure it'd be a hell of a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's it's good. Um, should have used them damn uh, cups we have. There. We should have brother stones. Shout out, and, uh, brother Stones. Yeah, go ahead, read it. You go ahead. All right. Well, if I if I had to rate this, um, now keep it keep it in mind. This is a bourbon. I'm gonna give. I'm, I'm, man. I'm gonna have to give this a five. Five? I'm gonna have to give this a five. This is pretty damn good. Five. Dang. Wow. What's your reasons? Well, my reasons is, is that, uh, you know, you get the bourbon taste, right? So any bourbon you drink is gonna give you that bourbon taste. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which the bourbon taste, for those that don't know, is um, un hard to explain. Hard to explain, yeah. It's yeah, but it's, it's something that there's goods to it and there's bads to it, you know? Uh, but then bads are going to help you get to the good buzz. So at the end of the day, you know, it gets you there. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is, so this is that bourbon taste, but then it's got these, I tasted like five different things. I felt like velvet layered cake or yeah, something in yeah. some weird way. And that's why, because it's really complex. Uh, I think the bottle, they did a good job. I mean, you don't, you don't go and buy these bottles somewhere at Walmart no, or something. No. They had to get people to design and make these bottles. They, what's it? They put the, uh, they the stained it. Thing. Oh, yeah, it's stained. They stained the top of this wooden thing. I just 100%. You just like it. Uh, what is this, blue bird? No, blue it's blue bird. bird. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, he said blue bird. Well, I might have, but I meant blue bird. Well, in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, you guys are doing a dang good <clears> job, <throat> and I like your product. All right, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a four. All right, I'm going to give it a four. The only reason I'm not giving it a five is because it has a little bit of that bottom shelf bite to it. Ooh. It's, it's a little burny. A little burny. Um, this is, uh, this was about 50 bucks. Yeah. 50 bucks for a bottle. A dollar make me holla, honey boo boo. Now, as far as bourbons go, 50 bucks is cheap for a bourbon. It is. So, uh. Especially for such a quality bourbon that this seems yeah, to be. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it is, it's one of the better bourbons I've ever had. Oh, definitely. And for the price, it's probably the best bourbon I've ever had. But uh, it's got that bottom shelf bite to it. Um, honestly, though, had I drank this with some ice, yo, oh, yeah, it might be a five. Sipped it, it, it really might be because that burn might not have been near as bad. Oh yeah, I don't even think I would waste and mix this. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, no, I would. This. I wouldn't mix that with any uh, sip on Pepsi this. or any that garbage. Oh yeah. Why would you dilute it with chemicals? Exactly. It makes no sense. Exactly. So there you have it. Four Delicious. Brothers bourbon. That right uh, there. Four, four, four grain bourbon, not four brothers. Four and a five. This is one of the best ones that we've read. Yeah, by all means. Man. Uh, I'll put that in the middle shelf. Oh. Deserves to be top uh, shelf, but we don't have a lot of room on the top shelf, so. All right, well, this is going to go right here because we got to get some more shelf. Oh, dang it. We're out of room. All right, we'll, we'll oh, just temporarily take the train out of there. Yeah. Train on the alligator. Yeah, we're, we're running out of room. We're going to have to build some more. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. Go this, try this, this out. This is your big Clint. This is uh, Big Jim Bob. <laughs> <He came laughs> That's what I thought you said. We'll see you later. See you later.